Hi friends, you know I've got this little search going on. Is it worth purchasing an inexpensive whistle as your first whistle? Well, you know, actually, I could see somebody buying an inexpensive whistle as the one they share with someone else, or because they can't afford a good one, or because they want a backpack whistle. Um, but most of the time, somebody's going to buy an inexpensive whistle because it's the first whistle they have. And is it really worth it? Now, you all know my feeling is that if you're going to start playing an instrument and you really think you want to play that instrument, that you should play at least a mid-grade instrument. Don't, don't go cheap. I've known so many people that paid as little as possible for a saxophone, a clarinet, um, things that I know. Uh, I know people that have purchased as cheap as they could on a whistle and were like, man, I can't play. I, I'm just terrible. And I'm like, no, try, try this one. And they're like, oh, that is much better. So my commitment, and so I'm prejudiced, my commitment is buy at least a good whistle uh, going in. However, what if you want a backpack whistle? What if you want, what if you can't afford a good whistle? What are you going to do? So my quest is, can I find a good, inexpensive, in this instance, low D whistle? So I purchased a um, Tony Dixon um, ABS that is a, a polymer um, whistle single body from the folks at bigwhistle.com and they shipped it in this beautiful package. Except for the noise the package makes, I wonder if the package is empty. I doubt it is. Um, I'm gonna stop the whistle, uh, start, pfft. I'm gonna stop the video and uh, open this puppy up because it looks pretty self-explanatory for opening it. I'm gonna check the tune and I'll be right back. All right, here it is and it came in this beautiful uh, Tony Dixon tube. It's very similar to the tube my Howard came in. Um, wow. I, so it's single piece, resin, whistle. Holes look just like I thought. Um, I checked out the tuning. It's not bad. I won't comment on each note, but it's not bad. Uh, it's light as a feather, um, but it is, it is made of uh, a, well, ABS. So the airway is straight, nice, uh, good looking little mouthpiece there, built kind of as I expected. The tune, like I, the tuning on it is like I said, okay, but, um, does this answer the question of would I buy this? I paid $63 for this. For a low D whistle, that's pretty inexpensive. There's one manufacturer I really, really wanted to buy from, but he retired, doesn't make them anymore. And so that can't help us. Um, there are other Tony Dixons that you play, pay more money for, but $63 is pretty entry level for a low D whistle. Let's hear it. The tone's not bad. It honestly, in favor of this whistle, it plays very easily. Um, bottom to top, I didn't have to strain. I think a beginner would be okay learning to play. Minimal air requirements. This thing's not gonna force you to be um, gasping for air. Plays very fluid, very easily. to jump into the harmonics. Um, I don't think he could really get after this thing. 
And it also has that, I don't know, there's something like that I can't get that, um, it's not like a chip, it's, it's, Maybe I'll describe it as a chip. I can't get that edgy, airy sound out of it for, for tone quality purposes. And I'm not saying it sounds like a really good traditional um, old uh, high D tin whistle. It just sounds like I purchased an inexpensive ABS whistle. Um, so my initial impression, if I only had $63 plus shipping to pay for a whistle. What would I do? Would I buy this? It all depends. If I didn't know if I'd play moving forward, and I knew that this thing had drawbacks, and I just needed something to test out, and $63 didn't mean much to me, sure, I'd buy it. And then, after a few months, of knowing I really, really cared, because you're gonna care, aren't you? After a few months of caring, I would give it away to a child whose hands are big enough, and I would then buy a better whistle. Would I use this as a backpack whistle? No, it's not, it's not what I wanna sit around and play. And I'm, you know, I'm still, I feel like I'm entering my middle stages of learning to play. And I wouldn't use this as my main whistle. I wouldn't use this as my backpack whistle. Um, what if I could afford, what if I could only afford $63, but I knew I wanted to play? I'd look, ar I'd shop around on eBay and on, on Facebook Marketplace and a bunch of other places and I'd find a used whistle. I'd scour my friends because I have friends who have extra whistles. And I'd say, can I buy one of your extra whistles? Because for $63 for, you could probably pick up a, a much nicer used whistle. Or I'd save money and, uh, and do it that way. Um, I'm not dissing this. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm not exasperated with it. It to me is a beginner whistle for somebody who just wants to mess around with it and they just want a low whistle or you want a low whistle to say you have one uh, because you play the high whistle all the time and maybe once every blue moon you'll pull this out fine pay just this little bit if you think you want to play a whistle moving forward uh, a low whistle and you want to keep going and you want to become good at it Hell, Tony Dixon has much better whistles, low D whistles for not much more money than this. Um, sign up with Big Whistle or McNeela and get that discount emailed back to you and pay not a whole lot more than I did for this to get a much nicer whistle. So my quest continues. Is this the answer to can you buy an inexpensive low D whistle um, as your beginner whistle? Eh, I'd say that there's a small percentage of people for which the answer is yes. For most of us, the answer is to keep shopping. <laughs> Until next time, my friends, this is Scott Shade. Email me with questions. If you own one of these, let me know what you think. And if you feel differently, let me know that too. I'm, I'm open to all this stuff. So uh, happy loading whistling.